it costs per mile to drive through Fred Highway, enabling 230 million Americans to live within 15 miles of a station on the 29,000 mile national maglev network, from which they can then travel to any other station in the 48 states at 300 miles per hour. Two, now is the key time. Oh my goodness, there's so many benefits. My students come back over and over from major universities and they say, Miss Caldwell, it was the most beneficial class we took in high school because it taught us to think. Poverty was greater in 2007. Only economic growth could have delivered the dramatic reduction in poverty that APEC achieved. And with that, I'm now open for cross-examination and for clarification. A friend introduced debate to me as sort of an organization to where it would help you express yourself. So I thought it would be something that would help me out in life because I was a big, I had a big fear of public speaking, and which I uh, soon learned that was actually something that was really fun to do. And now there's a joke going around that is uh, debate is the fear of not speaking publicly. I think debate very much helps anybody in their future because it teaches you how to articulate your thoughts correctly in a way that other people can actually understand them. And that in and of itself helps you be more successful just in average communication, but also it's good for businesses. And so I think things like that. And also being in debate helps you listen and actually understand arguments more. And so if you understand things more, you're more apt to handle them later in life. And I think that that's something that can be applied across the board to any situation. First of all, the case, extend that across, you don't actually touch the inherency or the solvency. With a few policymakers truly understand how Maglev operates now and how the benefits it provide. And solvency includes that we're going to be able to solve for uh, debt, oil dependence, warming, pollution, things of that nature. All that stuff goes untouched. Go ahead and pull that across. Uh, next to one of their uh, State champions last year were from our area. They have been. I mean, whether it's North Lamar or Lindale or whether it's Carthage High School or White Oak, I mean, this area has just been blanketed then with teams that have made it to the state championship. So it, it's pretty exciting. Which says that basically we just have to prove that the cons outweigh the pros and not necessarily that there are no pros.